Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is an Unreal process has crashed Borderlands 4 and it's low level fatal error. If, so if you're receiving low level fatal error or if you're rece receiving this GPU crash dump triggered, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to set up scaling method to TSR. Now for this, if you're able to launch the game, you can go to graphics settings and then you can go to upscaling method and you can set it to TSR. Now you can even switch to window mode and then check if you are able to launch the game. But if you're not able to make changes in that case, you can go to file explorer, go to this PC, open C drive, go to documents folder over here and then open my games, open borderlands 4, save config windows, open this game user settings. Now over here, scroll down and here you can see upscaling method now if this is set to dlss or any other option just type in tsr inside the inverted comma and then you can check if that does not work you can try window mode over here so over here you can see full screen mode so set the value value to number two and then go to file and then click on save now you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to disable overlay now if you have discord running you can go to discord settings so go to settings and then uh, find game overlay now turn off these overlay and then close discord so make sure that you close it and then if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia app settings and turn off nvidia overlay if this is on turn it off and close nvidia app and then check also close all the other overlay applications. So if you have any other overlay application running, close it. Also disable Steam overlay. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties, turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game and then check. Next step is to disable G-Sync in NVIDIA app. So uh, now NVIDIA control panel actually. So you can go to NVIDIA control panel and you can disable the G-Sync and then you can check. If that does not work, the next step is to link Steam account to Swift account. Now for this, you can go to Borderland website, go to the official website and then click on these three horizontal lines over here and then scroll down, click on Swift over here. Now over here, uh, if, you have email, if you have an account, you can create an account and then link your Steam account to uh, Swift account. Or you can, over here you can see Steam icon. If you have the game on Steam, click over here. If you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, click on it. And then log in and read this. Make sure that you read if you agree. Then click on sign in. And now you can go to gaming platforms over here. And here you can see it's linked. Once this is linked, now you can launch the game and then check, still not working. The next step is to update Steam. Now for this, you can go to Steam top left click on steam and then click on check steam client update once it is done now you can check still not working if you have windows 11 in addition you can install media feature pack now not for home edition if you have windows 11 in addition then in that case you can open windows settings and then you can go to uh, system i think and then you can click on troubleshoot and then you can click on other troubleshooters you will see no i'm sorry so uh, you can in the search you can type in optional feature so it's optional feature is in system system and then go to optional features and you will see add a feature option so click on add a feature or view features and over here you can search for media feature pack i don't have windows 11 n edition i have windows 10 windows 11 home so if you have windows 11 n edition you can find media feature pack you will see media feature pack in the list and then put a check install it and then check next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have md card go to md website i'm showing for nvidia select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and then you can click on on this page at the very top you will see that not the studio but the ge force game ready driver that is right now it's 581.29 whichever is the latest click on view 
make sure that you do this and then click on download and then run this exe file now once you run the exe file click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next after the clean installation restart you can feel and after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to now md card users do the same thing go to md website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart the computer and then check still not working roll back graphics driver so if the latest graphic card driver is not working once you select your graphic card your operating system on this page you can click on view more version and you can try to install the older driver you can try this 577 and for few players installing this has worked i will show you uh, view more version so uh, yeah try to install this 577 uh this one uh geforce game ready driver you can click on view and then you can click on download and once the download is complete but when you go for installation make sure that you put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and then you can check restart your computer next step is to update the bios now this has also worked for few players so it might work for you so go to your system manufacturer website so if you have a dell computer go to dell if you have lenovo go to lenovo whichever brand you have go to the system manufacturer website select your model number and then update the bios now make sure that in case of laptop make sure battery is more than 10% and the ac adapter is connected to the computer when you update the bios after the bios update check next step is to update the game so when you if you see update option you can update the game and then check if that if you don't see update you can click on exit and uh, relaunch steam and then if there is any update you can update it try launching the game multiple times uh, now when you if you are facing the crash try to launch the game multiple times now when you launch the game multiple times you might receive this pop up which says restore default settings so click on yes and then try to relaunch the game and then check now still not working uh, then restart steam um, so simply restart steam and then check if you have the game on epic games launcher restart epic games launcher and then check now also update epic games launcher so you can go to epic games launcher at the top right you will see a profile icon you have to click on your profile then go to settings and then if you see up, update and restart option just update your epic games launcher and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast norton bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to antivirus program now if you are using windows security open windows settings go to privacy and security go to windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow click on add an allowed app browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so in my case the game is installed in this location so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open again click on add an allowed app browse all apps and then open oak game binaries main 64 select this exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system and security windows defender firewall and then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow the app click on browse again select both the exe file select this click on open add in my case i have already added again click on allow the app click on browse open this folder binary is win64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check so in my case the game is already added and then you can check still not working the next step is to rename the config folder now for this before you rename let me inform you all the saved settings will be lost now for this you can go to file explorer go to documents my games borderland 4 saved config so just rename this config folder make a right click and then you can just rename it and then launch the game if that does not work you can rename the save game files but create a backup first because you will lose all the save game progress uh, you have to start everything from scratch so if you agree you can do this so you can go to my games and then uh, you can just copy this folder create a backup first 
once you have a backup created over here now you can try to rename this you have to start everything from scratch now launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder now instead of launching the game from here you can go to the game installation folder make a double click launch the game from here if that does not work make a right click click on run as administrator and then check still not working open oak game binaries win64 then make a double click launch the game from here still not working go to properties and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok and then launch the game if that does not work again go to properties this time you can put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game you can even try windows 7 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check now when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card so for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings and then click on add desktop app go to the game installation folder and then select the game exe file click on add click on it select high performance you will see your graphic card again add desktop app open this folder binaries win64 select this exe file click on open again click on, click on it and then select high performance over here now launch the game now if you have desktop users make sure that you connect your hdmi cable or display cable to the dedicated graphic card slot now the next step is to try power saver mode now for this type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel system uh, sorry hardware and sound power options over here you will see power saver in my case i have only balanced so if you see power saver uh, like this uh, you can select power saver launch the game and then check you can even try balance or high performance but first of all try power saver and then you can check still not working the next step is to turn on hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now you can open windows settings go to system and then go to display go to graphics and then advanced graphics now if this is off turn it on and then launch the game if it is already on turn it off and then check so check which one is working fine for you next step is to verify the game file now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is done launch the game next step is to run epic games launcher and steam as an administrator so if you have the game on epic games launcher close epic games launcher first and then make a right click run as administrator similarly if you have the game on steam you can close steam over here exit and then type in steam in windows search box make a right click and then run as administrator and then check still not working the next step is to try dx11 uh, dx12 in the launch option not dx11 but dx12 type in dash dx12 now you can launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to install visual c++ file copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website here you can see visual studio file you have to download this x86 and x64 so download both the files and then run the exe file if you see repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and then run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete once installed restart you can be now restart is a must after this after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to update windows to the latest version open windows settings go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here now once this is done once it is installed restarting bill and then you can check still not working the next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have motors wheel pedals any kind of usb adapter which you are not using disconnect it disconnect extra controller connected to the computer and then check do not overclock if you have overclocked set it to default close all the overclocking application like msi afterburner revert unit and then check close all the third party application and services uh, which you are not using uh, you can go to task manager if you have any third party services running which you are not using close it and if you have any other application so make sure only the steam and the game is running rest close everything and then check if you have undervolted the computer remove the undervolt and then check 
the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game after you uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder restart the computer and then install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive or any external drive try to install the game to c drive if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel